I personally worked with the idea that the landscape we can uh, see uh, in Second Life is not uh, uh, what we can call a real um, uh, virtual landscape. A virtual space of data flows like avatars motion uh, moving into the space. Terraformation of really the, the same fragility than every other object. The time is really important in a virtual place because uh, a physical mountain in a physical world um, shows time and materials. But in, in numeric place, we can we cannot say that a mountain a, moon, a mountain sorry is very old mountain have a fragility. First diagram representing continuities of data, data flows taking geolocalization in, uh, on the terraformation of the virtual space. Uh, fragile space cannot be um, a permanent element, only an object uh, uh, would disappear or for, for me Second life is uh, already a fragile space. So we had to learn very quickly and also to learn how to build some uh, interactive objects um, which, uh, involve, um, which involved uh, a lot of um, uh, manipulation of scripts. What can happen when uh, uh, the avatars are in uh, contact with these objects? All of these are uh, during the two first days, and uh, the the main problem was how to organize uh, this uh, this work and uh, how to link it to the problematic uh, question of uh, the meeting point. I put the immersive um, aspect very very deeply um, for uh, just uh, uh, having more involvement from the avatar. And uh, so this is a question of frustration, this is a question of game, a question of interaction, of mobility, accessibility. I would say it's uh, more like uh, work on the inner space, because uh, when you are working in it, you're leaving a print. Um, prints are reactive, and uh, this print is not... Um, staying uh, for very long, it's just following you like uh, some kind of a shadow uh, inside of a big cloud.